You must be watching this video on your mobile phone, a laptop, a desktop, a tablet for that matter. You might also play high-end games on it, right? It is a powerful device capable of tackling almost everything. But do you know what is the most crucial component of your device? Semiconductor chip. It is the powerhouse of your smart device. Now imagine what will happen if semiconductor chips stop getting manufactured, right? Technology will cease to exist as we know. But relax, PM Modi has decided to make India a semiconductor powerhouse. How? Let me tell you. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video, I will tell you how PM Modi is leading India to become a leader in the semiconductor sector. Let's begin. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has some big plans. Among them is his dream of making India a semiconductor manufacturing hub. Around the world, semiconductors have gained tremendous prominence and it would suffice to say that they have become crucial to humans in the 21st century. Usually made of silicon, semiconductors are a strategic technological asset in today's globalized world. From car batteries to laptops to smartphones to household appliances to gaming consoles and everything in between, semiconductors perform the fulcrum of the job in powering smart electronic devices. Now the Modi government is planning to offer a massive incentive package to semiconductor manufacturers from around the world to set a base in India. According to Bloomberg, India is finalizing an incentive package of more than $10 billion to attract companies to start manufacturing semiconductors in the country. According to highly placed sources, directly in the know of all that is happening on the microchip front. The government will offer incentives of 760 billion rupees which is roughly 10.2 billion US dollars over six years for domestic production of semiconductors fabs, display fabs, design and packaging to cut down dependence on imports. The union cabinet will soon take up this package for approval. The Bloomberg report added that the proposed plan includes the government providing up to 50% of capital expenditure to companies selected for manufacturing semiconductor fab along with providing design-linked incentives. The package is likely to be over and above the SOPs provided last year under production-linked incentives for the manufacturing of electronic components and semiconductors. According to government estimates, the $10 billion incentive package will help attract semiconductor investments to the tune of 1.7 trillion rupees, which is roughly 24 billion US dollars in the next six years. Narendra Modi is no ordinary Prime Minister. He is a man who is determined to turn India into a global power to be reckoned with. With 760 billion rupees incentive package for semiconductor manufacturers, PM Modi is ensuring that India seizes the moment and emerges as a favoured destination for microchip manufacturers. All strong countries today want to domestically produce semiconductors, owing to their extreme importance across several walks of life. The time to secure semiconductor investment is now as manufacturers around the world scout for newer pastures. The global semiconductor shortage has prompted manufacturers to diversify the country portfolios and set up bases in various nations. Interestingly, manufacturers are looking to manufacture in a country that incentivizes them, minus China. The communist nation is nowhere in the picture and when it comes to attracting microchip manufacturers, and India is taking advantage of the same. India is all set to get its first semiconductor production facility by late next year. As reported by TFI, Tata Group is all set to invest close to $300 million in an outsourced semiconductor assembly and test plant. An OSAT plant sources silicon wafers from semiconductor foundries, packages, assembles and tests them, finally turning them into finished semiconductor chips. For the same, Tata is in talks with at least three states, Karnataka, Telangana and Tamil Nadu. The final venue of the OSAT plan would be finalized this month with the operation beginning by late 2022. Separately, the Modi government is in advanced talk with Taiwan over bringing a chip plant worth an estimated $7.5 billion to India to supply everything from 5G devices to electric cars. It is also scouting for possible locations with adequate land, water and manpower to help Taiwanese manufacturers set up factories. The world is facing a chip shortage. Companies are increasingly decoupling from China and the demand from Taiwanese semiconductors has shot up. However, there are not enough semiconductor manufacturing facilities around the world that can keep up with the soaring demand for these electronic chips. Therefore, India's push for attracting semiconductor firms to manufacture in the country would not have come at a better time. 